guys, welcome back to October Reads, and today, I don't even know how I'm going to approach this one, so I'm just going to hop right into it. We're going to visit Man-Thing number one from, I believe, 1971. So I've, re I've visited Swamp Thing three different times. We saw his origin, we saw his first appearance, and we saw Alan Moore's, like, re-envisioning of the character, all of which were amazing in their own way. So I figured, why not go ahead and visit Man-Thing? Like, Marvel's kind of answer to Swamp Thing, I guess. I believe they were both created by Lynn Wine. Um, so I didn't know really where to start. So I just figured, I'd just pick Man-Thing number one, volume one. There's actually two volumes in the 70s for whatever reason. I don't know, Marvel. But I was just at least like, okay, cool. There's like a really awesome cover on Man-Thing number one. It's Frank Bruner, one of my favorite 70s artists. He did phenomenal work on Doctor Strange. So I open up the book and he didn't do the interiors. So we got Val Mayeric on the art. Never heard of him. But he's not bad. I don't want to say the art was bad in this or anything, but it wasn't Frank Bruner. And then Steve Gerber writes this. So, so Steve Gerber lets you know he's writing it right off the bat because you get Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck is in this. That's interesting and out of the wall. So like I said, I don't really know how I'm going to review this because it was so off the wall and insane. Like, I, I flipped through it twice. I've read it once. I still really don't know what to make of this story. Like, I was kind of expecting, you know, we'd see who Man-Thing is, understand his origin, and all that stuff. Because obviously when we visited Swamp Thing and all three of those previous reads, we got to know who Alex was, and then later on who Alec Holland was, and who Alec Holland wasn't, basically. We always got that storyline of origin followed by, you know, tragedy, tragedy and sometimes revenge. We're here. It's just something's happened with reality. There's like this mining company or demolition company trying to take out a swamp, and somehow they sh make a hole in reality or something and there's all kinds of weird monsters and Howard the Duck's there for some reason and some other character I'm completely unfamiliar with. Kind of looks like He-Man with long hair is there. He's hitting the entire story. Uh, the only highlight really for me is Howard the Duck. Like he at least keeps me laughing throughout the, this journey. And I'm, I'm going to hopefully show the panel here where Howard the Duck He's fighting demons. He just takes out a pistol and starts shooting these demons. <laughs> and it's absolutely amazing. So at least I got to give it some points for Howard the Duck here. He kept me laughing. You can tell Steve Gerber's writing strength is in Howard the Duck, which he would obviously write as well. But there's this wizard looking guy who shows up, like resembles, you know, Merlin or Gandalf or whoever. And he basically has this whole team of like poor man's He-Man, Howard the Duck and Man-Thing come with him. He explains something like reality's been taken over, being taken over by, like, some guy in a business suit. Okay. And this guy is, like, he's getting ready to kill off some girl who looks like a Valkyrie. Uh, then randomly Daredevil and Black Widow show up through a hole in reality, help her out, like, really quick, and then disappear. That's the only time you'll see them or they will be mentioned in this. Meanwhile, the other team, they somehow get this Valkyrie lady. They're going through, like, in between reality into the depths of wherever. They're running through Oblivion, which not Gandalf says, like, hey, watch your step. You don't want to fall here. The first thing that happens is our favorite character in Man-Thing's book, Howard the Duck, he just takes a misstep and falls into oblivion, and they're, they're telling you he's dead. You don't see Howard the Duck again in this whole thing. He's gone as far as you're concerned. If you're just reading this as a little kid in the 70s, Howard the Duck is dead. You don't see him again in this issue. You have no reference on if and when he's coming back. And this is when character deaths apparently mattered, I guess. So Howard the Duck, he's just gone out of the story. So they get to this, like, businessman-looking guy and stop him from taking over reality, but this guy unmasks it. Oh my god, like a Scooby-Doo reveal. It turns out he was a devil all along. And how do they stop this guy? Man-Thing picks him up and throws him in, like, a, a pond, and he turns to stone because he doesn't like the cool water. So after all that, like, 
basically reality, I guess, goes back to normal. Man Thing hangs out in this swamp that's not being bulldozed anymore, I guess. So, I, I guess that's it for this story. There's a whole bunch of other things that happen with reality, but I could spend all day just talking about random things that are thrown. They, I feel like they literally just threw everything at the wall to see what would stick here, but. In all of this, we never really get to know or care what Man-Thing is. Anything about his origin. I don't know if he's a mute going down the line or not, but he really has no dialogue here. Oh, and then the gods they're trying to help out in this, they're dogs. I forgot to mention that, too. <laughs> so, like I said, they, they threw just everything at the wall. This book was kind of a mess. I think I'm going to have to give this a 2 out of five uh, unfortunately i was just let down by it i was kind of hoping like cool get some awesome frank bruner art out of it get some maybe a, a good starting point for man thing as a character and get into that run but i got none of that unfortunately except for a, a cool cover with frank bruner artwork on it so i think i'm gonna have to give this a, you know a dubious two out of five uh, I'll, I'll keep going visiting ala colin and swamp thing if i want to get swamp story but thank you guys so much once again for checking out October Reads.